On a huge honor to have Rabbi Abram Folk. He's a senior rabbi here at Yeshiva Nevet Zion here in Telstone near Jerusalem. Huge honor for us to give an amazing Shabbat message with regards to the Torah portions. Thank you very much. It's a tremendous honor for me to be able to speak to you. Um, we're dealing with the, in the Torah portion of the week, we're dealing with the, we just led, led, we read last week Parshas Hayetze, where Yaakov leaves Bershav and goes to Choron. And we're dealing with his travels, when he's traveling and going back to Eretz Yisrael. When he leaves Eretz Yisrael, when he leaves the land of Israel, the Pasuk is very interesting. It says, Vayetze Yaakov me Bershava, that Yaakov left Bershava, Vayele Charana, and he went to Charan. All of the commentaries, many, many of the commentaries ask, the Pasuk seems to be repetitive. It says he left Beersheba and he went to Choron. You could have really written it, and he went from Beersheba to Choron. Why do you have to say he left and he went? You could tell me he went from Beersheba to Choron. So the, many of them first explain that when a person leaves a specific place, there can be two reasons. Either because there's a need for you to run away from that place, to leave that place, if, if there's trouble, if an uh, enemy is attacked, you have to leave that place. So the main purpose you're going to the other place is not to get to a different destination, but it's rather to leave the place where you are. That's by Yetzi, that Yaakov left. But by Yaakov Avinu, there was a dual purpose when he left. He was leaving Beersheba because he was in danger that his brother Esau wanted to kill him, so he had to leave where he was, but he was also going to Choron because his father had told him that he should find himself a bride in Choron where his father felt that the, the, the ladies were much more suitable for him. So there was a dual purpose in, in his leaving. So therefore the Torah says, Vayetze, he left. There was a purpose in his leaving, but there was also Vayele Choron, a purpose in where he was going. Yeah. Nowadays, there's a beautiful safer, a beautiful book by the Stipler Goyim, who was a tremendously righteous person, Rabbi Yaakov Yisrael Kinyevsky, who lived in B'nai Brak, a blessed memory. And the Stipler explains that years ago, most people grew up in, in the past generations in a, in a strong Jewish environment. And as most of us, even today, if we you know, somewhat assimilated into the countries that we live. But years ago, most of our parents, great grandparents or great 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 parents came from homes that were um, instilled with with Judaism and Torah values. We were very connected to the Jewish people. Whereas today many many of us are somewhat disconnected to our Jewish heritage. It used to be in the old days when a person decided to leave his home and go to a, a Torah academy, to a yeshiva to study, he was going there not because he had to leave his home in order to remain connected to Judaism, because his home was, was a, you know, a very strong Jewish, Jewishly oriented home. But he was going to the yeshiva in order to become a, a, a rabbi or a scholar. But the stipler says that today, for so many of us, we've gotten so involved in the, in, the, in the world that we're living in, and we, we disconnected from our, from our people and from our heritage, that a person today, when he goes to a yeshiva or he comes to Israel to study, it's a dual purpose. On the one hand, he's leaving the home because where he is, it's not a strong Jewish environment, and he's missing that connection to his heritage and his people. And also he's coming to advance his studies and to, to learn Torah. So, you, again, you people that I'm speaking to, I believe are not in Eretz Yisrael, you're not in Israel with us. You're all over the diaspora. And you're still part of the Jewish people, which is a remarkable thing for generations and generations. We've lost so many Jews to assimilation and to persecution. And you people are still connected to the Jewish people. You people are still interested in your Judaism, your connection to spirituality. So for you people to come to Eretz Yisrael, to come to Israel, you, you are fulfilling that dual purpose of leaving that environment, which is not such a strong Jewish environment, and you're also coming to the Holy Land, which is the only land 
where prophecy was possible. All of the Jewish prophets prophesied either in Israel or about the land of Israel. Moses prophesied in Egypt because he was on his way to Israel to come to the Holy Land and to be able to involve yourselves and dedicate a month or a couple months or a year to reconnecting with your Jewish roots is a beautiful, beautiful thing. I wish, wish you all I send you blessings from the Holy Land and, and hopefully we should all reconnect, be reunited and we should all merit the ingathering of all of the Jewish people to Eretz Yisrael and the rebuilding of, of the, the Israel and the rebuilding of the Holy Temple and Eretz Hashem we should have peace in the world and blessings for all of you. Amen.